now doing a masters in the us is an expensive affair and we see that not too many students do a number by number analysis what we are going to try and do with a series of videos is try and tell you how much particular masters programs are going to cost and what the average salaries are going to be after that in today's video we'll be covering the tuition fee and costs associated with some of the most popular mem programs and the average reported median salaries for graduates from these programs so you understand what you're paying for and what you're getting at the end of it stay tuned so the first program i'm going to talk about is a big big name and therefore there are some big big numbers attached with it we are talking about stanford's management science and engineering or the msnd program which is an engineering management program at the end of the day now the stanford program it's important to know that you can complete it in three quarters or five quarters quarter is essentially half of a semester each year has four quarters but don't worry about that all you have to know is that it's going to take you three quarters or up till five quarters for you to finish the program now the fee for the program is twenty two thousand dollars per quarter so if you finish the program in three quarters you can do some simple math and figure out that it will cost you around sixty six thousand dollars but i suspect it's going to take a little bit longer because it's a strenuous course if you take five quarters to finish it it's going to cost you hundred and ten thousand dollars now if you finish it in something in between you can do the math it's going to be twenty two thousand dollars per quarter now median salaries are not very clear but we managed to gather some data we found from some reliable sources and students who graduated from the program that salaries range between one hundred and ten thousand dollars per year to about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars per year annually therefore you can see that the return on investment is pretty solid from this program at number 2 i am going to talk to you about a program which is paradise for return on investment and i'll explain the reasons why i'm talking about dartmouth college now dartmouth is an ivy league university so it is going to be expensive the tuition fee for this program is $66000 however what a lot of people don't know about the dartmouth program is that they have need based financial aid this means that anybody who is accepted into the program if the program deems that you cannot afford the fee based on your financial conditions which you have to fill through a css profile form they give you a 40% tuition waiver now shave off 40% from $66000 and that is significant saving here is the best part about the dartmouth mem program the most recent salary statistics for the class of 2024 passing out has stated a median salary of $126000 per year with 98% of the students securing a job so essentially it's one or maybe two candidates who don't have jobs for the remaining it's $126000 on average therefore if you are able to get that 40% tuition waiver and you are somewhere close to that median salary you are going to be in a very good financial position the third as you are processing the numbers and the wonderful salaries associated with the mem program you also would want to know what it takes to make it to these top schools understand how admissions committees evaluate profiles what kind of application requirements and details are going to be there and also intricate details that you may not be aware of join me for the mem master class which is going to be a free webinar that we are hosting later this month the link to sign up is in the description the third program that i'm going to talk about is a program that everybody has in mind when they think engineering management i'm sure it's going to be on a lot of your shortlist it's a popular program and for good reason i'm talking about duke now when i talk about duke's tuition fee you will start seeing a trend that some of these top private universities and ivy league schools have very similar tuition fees and duke and dartmouth and as you will see with cornell later have very similar ranges we have a tuition fee of around $67000 for duke the advantage with duke is whether you choose to do the program in two semesters three semesters or even four semesters the tuition fee remains the same the average salaries which have been reported and the latest data is available for the year 2022 the median salary was around $113000 average however understand that 2022 was also a boom period in hiring so i'm also going to reveal the 2021 average salaries which is around $93000 therefore you can assume that somewhere between the 93000 to 113000 is a safe assumption to have post the duke mem once again pretty solid return on investment now program number 4 is another big name with some big big numbers attached to it columbia is an ivy league university in the heart of manhattan everything about it screams expensive the tuition fee for this program is easily among the highest for mem programs it costs you $88000 for the entire program also the living expenses are going to be a tad bit higher because it's in the heart of new york city of course living expenses are a big part of it i will tell you a simple formula for you to calculate your living expenses at the end of the video because it's fairly uniform 
Now, Colombia's average starting salaries are available for the 2022 year graduates and the amount stated is $111,000. Therefore, even though the break-even period and the amount of time you'll take to pay off your loan is going to be a little higher because of the high tuition fee, it is fairly certain that you should be able to pay it off within your OPT period without a problem. We are continuing on the theme of the Ivy League and we are going to Cornell University now. The tuition fee for Cornell is $68,000 for 12 months. And if you want to finish the program in three semesters, you have to pay one and a half times the fee, which often doesn't make sense. Therefore, for you, the number you have to consider is $68,000 in tuition fee. The average starting salaries as per student reported data is around the $100,000 mark. Now, another very, very well reputed university is Johns Hopkins, which offers a terrific engineering management program. But hand on your heart when I tell you the fee, it's going to cost you $32,000 per semester. Therefore, if you have one year of education, it's going to be $64,000. But the engineering management program is typically a three semester program. Therefore, you're looking at about $96,000. Here is a bonus tip though. We've heard from students that there is an option of a part-time enrollment in your third semester, which can bring down the tuition fee to about $80,000, which is still high, but you're still saving some money from the 96K, right? Now, while Johns Hopkins is expensive, the return on investment is fairly solid because they've reported median salary ranges from $75,000 to $140,000. Now, of course, this is a very, very wide range. So we've also done a little bit of digging to find out what students are actually making and we found the median salary range to be around $110,000 based on the data we've collected. Therefore, once again, your return on investment is fairly sorted. At this point in time, I hope you're not reeling from the massive numbers I've talked to you about. Therefore, I'm going to give you a little bit of relief with the next university, which is comparatively reasonably priced. Purdue University's engineering management program will cost you around $43,000 for the entire program. It is traditionally reasonably priced compared to universities that are at the same level. Another piece of good news about Purdue University is that average salaries are around the $101,000 mark. Therefore, in terms of return on investment, it is absolutely fantastic. Secondarily, if you do the two-year version of the program, you are allowed to work as part of a co-op during your second year. Therefore, you are going to be getting paid. And in fact, you might also end up with a net positive during the second year of your education because you can not only cover your tuition fee, maybe you can even save some money on top of it. Additionally, we've been hearing from Purdue graduates that if you secure a teaching assistantship during the program or a semester, then your tuition fee might be waived off. So look out for this opportunity to make the most of your Purdue experience with limited investment. The next university also has an old and very popular engineering management program. It is the University of Southern California. Now, USC is expensive because it's a private university in the heart of LA. The cost for the entire program will be around $71,000. Now, average salary data is not available publicly and we tried searching for it a lot. But again, after speaking to students in past years, we can say that it's around the 90 to 100K mark. The final program I'm going to talk about is North Carolina State University. Now, this university is in a terrific location in the Research Triangle Park in very close vicinity to Duke. And it is also a little expensive. Now, if you finish the program in a year and a half, it's going to cost you $61,000. If you do it in two years, it's going to cost you $75,000. Again, we do not have data that is public for the average starting salaries. And we haven't been able to speak to enough people to get you an estimate of the average salary also. We don't want to give you random estimates. So therefore, we're going to leave it at that for NCSU. The final university is another very, very popular university, which might feature as a safe school in a lot of your lists. Northeastern's engineering management program costs you $59,000 if you finish the program in a year and a half. And honestly, you can finish the program in a year and a half without a problem. In terms of publicly available data, it only states that 80% of candidates or rather more than 80% of candidates secure median salaries of about $70,000 per year on graduating. But once again, we did a little digging. We spoke to graduates from the program and median salaries tend to be around the $80,000 a year mark. So those were some hard numbers which you have to analyze and make informed decisions. There is no point talking about the lack of return on investment without doing your research on the numbers. Therefore, we've tried to put all these numbers in one place. Now, living expenses are also additional. Simple fact, if you're looking at universities and cities like a USC in LA or in NYU or a Columbia in the heart of New York City, living expenses are going to be a little higher. You have to budget for somewhere around $1,200 to $1,500 a month, all expenses included. 
for other smaller campus towns the base number is going to be about a thousand dollars all included now depending on the duration of the program you can do the simple math and you can figure it out i didn't want to put it after every university because then we are going to be doing a lot of excel sheet calculations which will bore the heck out of you now we've given you the ranges depending on the duration of the program you can add that to the tuition fee and you'll have a fair idea of how good the return on investment is post these programs now if you want access to more such no nonsense information we are making it super easy for you because we've created whatsapp communities for masters in computer science engineering management mis ba you name it we have a group for it you can join these groups for absolutely free using the links in the description and you can get no nonsense information there which is well researched we are not going to sell you anything we are not going to tell you stuff that is factually incorrect in fact you can even network with fellow masters applicants on these groups so join these groups today because they are filling really really fast